I have listened to well over 100, if not 200 speakers, and never has this happened to me before. Buckle up. This is going to be a fun one. Forgot to show you the high quality grill construction too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is what smells. This thing could surprise me or it could be terrible. We're going to find out right now. things off the bat about this speaker one i cannot believe how much bass it's making in a sealed enclosure two it's eighty dollars at twenty dollars less than a hundred oh <laughs> just about knocked over the camera. Not the heaviest speaker around. Still sounds pretty good though. This one's been on the shelf for a while. It was made in September of 2020. I'm wondering what the crossover looks like in here. We'll get to that later. It has a keyhole mount on it though. And since it's, whoa, since it's a sealed enclosure, you could hang these on the wall. And I'm gonna get to where you should be using this speaker. That keyhole mount may come in handy. How bad could these $80 speakers with a six and a half inch woofer and a one inch soft dome tweeter be? What could possibly go wrong? Wow. They say this is rated at plus or minus 3 dB down to 70 Hertz. And all the way up to 20,000 Hertz. They make a pretty big deal on Amazon that it's made out of MDF and not particle board. It feels like it's filled with helium though. From a construction standpoint, this really isn't that bad there are a couple of gaps where the wood comes together i've had a bunch of dayton audio speakers in here that have really terrible finishing this actually not bad at all this is a three finger speaker no i can't i thought it was going to be a two finger speaker but it's a three finger speaker okay the big reveal this is a rockville speaker and there are all sorts of options on amazon you can get a four ohm, you can get an eight ohm, you can get a five and a quarter inch woofer, you can get a six and a half inch woofer. I, of course, opted for the big boy. It's the Rock Shelf 64 V2. That's not a terrible model name. The Rock Shelf. We, <laughs> we got a problem already. That's what I get for throwing them around. Bear in mind, you want to, you might want to keep a little bottle of super glue to repair your speaker. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Rockville. To be fair, I've had the same thing happen to some Yamo speakers. Oh my God. I was wondering what was smelling. Like I thought maybe the dog had brought in a bird or something and it was under the couch. No. Oh, it's these speakers. I've never had a speaker smell like that. It smells like a rotting animal. It's, wow. It smells terrible. I kept wondering what that smell was. Now I know. It legitimately rubbed off on my fingers. I can smell it on my hands. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. I cannot believe how rancid these things smell. I'm shocked and not in a good way. These are holding together incredibly well at 
85 even higher well done rockville 80 dollars speakers the bottom end's kind of fun especially with the sealed enclosure let's do something else <laughs> So the bass is huge, okay? So let's just say that's the best thing about this speaker. The top, I'd say the upper mid-range, there's some warmth to it. So you're losing some detail in the mid-range. It's not terrible though. And even the top end is not harsh. This is not a fatiguing speaker at all. Fatiguing means you can listen to it for a little while and then it starts to hurt your ears. I am so curious as to what the crossover looks like inside. And a crossover just sends the lows to the woofer and the highs to the tweeter. Generally speaking, the more complicated a crossover is, the more designed it is. A lot of times there is no crossover. I'm willing to bet there's either no crossover in this thing or a single capacitor on the tweeter. Oh, this is a good one. It's gonna get ready to come in. Wait for it, wait for it, here we go. They're starting to bottom out. And I think that was around 80 dB. It depends on the track. They're hooked up to the Cambridge Evo 150. I think it's a good pairing. $80 speakers, $3,200 integrated amplifier. That makes sense. I'm wondering how long it's gonna take to play these to get them to walk off the stands. Because I've even got some rubber feet underneath here, but even this one is starting to move back. This one over here is getting worse and worse and worse. Killing my hearing. It's about what we expected. Here's the thing about speakers that aren't perfect doesn't mean they don't sound good especially in an application where you don't really care about the highest fidelity these would be the perfect garage speakers these would be great surround speakers if you covered the back up with some foam because these are going to vibrate like crazy i'm really interested in what's inside should we open it up let's open it up forgot to show you the high quality grill construction too Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is what smells. It's the glue. The glue literally smells like dead animals. Fabulous. Ugh. Gross. Wish you could smell this. Rockville. Dude, these are going in the trash. Now, I'm going to send these back. I don't want them in the house. Wow. If you put these in your garage, I said these would be a good garage speaker. If you put them in the garage, though, it's not a possum that wandered in and died in the corner. It's your Rockville. It's your high-quality Rockville speakers that's giving up. That's the Rockville house smell. It's not a house sound. It's a house smell. Let's open these things up and put them in the box and send them back to Amazon because I don't want them in the house anymore. The funny thing is though, they don't sound bad. They actually sound pretty good for what they are, but th I can't get over the smell. This is a first for me. I have never had a speaker that has left the house because of its smell. <laughs> Ready for the big reveal? Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh, oh. Color me surprised. 
There is a crossover in here. There is an air core inductor and a capacitor. All you smart people in the comments tell me, is this a second order low pass or is this a first order high pass and a first order low pass? Either way, these Rockville speakers actually are a lot of fun and I think would make for a great garage speaker. If you can get over the smell. If you do buy them though, you should definitely check out this video about the best amps from $60 all the way up to $600 because the Fozzie Audio TB10D would be a perfect pairing for these speakers. I seriously need to get some fresh air after that. Always remember to wear your Mark V gas mask when you're listening to your awesome Rockville speakers.